Do you know anything about the breeders or anything like that? Most of them, just to paint the picture, are more like families, kids, and everything like that. And they have them like interact with them and actually take care of the, uh, the oh. puppies. I've seen places that have like doggy treadmills, so like when mom can't really? go outside and it's cold, they can actually still get a really? run. Okay, in. Like, okay yeah. so because what I'm wondering is like, do they have dogs in cages or is it like. No. Like, I, I assume y'all visited AJ's Angels. Angel. Okay, all I did was I put AJ's Angels into Google Maps, and that's what comes up. Commercial operations, which are working with puppy mills, have the potential of actually getting themselves registered as a nonprofit organization, and then that organization becomes essentially a pass-through. Literally, is what we call is a puppy laundering scheme. Deborah Howard is the president of the Companion Animal Protection Society, who's been investigating where these dogs come from. And these are—they're all rescue dogs mm -hmm. here. They are all rescues. How much is he? We're looking at around thirty-five dollars. That's not the price of a rescue dog. A purebred rescue may be around $500, a shelter dog $100, $200. Pet Connect Rescue, it's in Missouri. Because it said he was from Joplin, Missouri. Yeah, Joplin, Missouri. It's one of our breeder rescues that we work with out there. Pet Connect is incorporated as a nonprofit in Joplin, Missouri. The board members include Ray and Alicia Rothman. Ray Rothman, is listed on LinkedIn as a sales manager for Hunt. The Hunt Corporation is one of the largest dog brokerage facilities in the country, well known for obtaining puppies from mills. Now, why would somebody like Ray Rothman, who works for one of the largest puppy mill brokers in the country, run a rescue? Because he's not. These are not rescue animals. 